Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Gareth Pritchard and I am going to show you some basic techniques for learning how to draw cars or any other subject that might be difficult at first, especially for beginners. As you can see on the screen I have a drawing or an outline, basic outline of a hot rod custom car. And you can see that there are a lot of complicated shapes in this image. These wings the wheels, the bonnet, the lid of the bonnet is quite a difficult shape. There's some quite difficult shapes here looking through the windscreen and around here. The whole image is quite a difficult shape and would be quite difficult for anybody, not even just a beginner, but even a competent person who is good at drawing would find this quite difficult to draw. So. What I suggest you do is to draw, first of all, draw a box shape around the image you were trying to draw. And then divide that box shape into two so that you've isolated the two halves of the car. And you can do it into four as well. But in this example, I'm only going to do it with two sides of the image and show how that isolation can be used to make the drawing process more simple. I've blanked this side out and now you can see that it's a lot less complicated because half of the car is missing. Now in this image you can see that we've isolated half of the car, half of the drawing to make it more easily, easily drawn. If you look down here on this line that's dividing the two, this is what they call a vertical line. Along this vertical line you can see where the windscreen there touches the line, where the roof touches the line there, where the back window of the vehicle touches the line there and there, where the windscreen wiper touches there and all the way down you can see a slight part of the curve of the headlight and where the bumper goes. And if you look across like that from side to side you can see where different things line up. So like this. That line there shows where the roof lines up. That line there shows where the windscreen lines up there, but it also shows the top of the door there. When artists draw, what they do is they look at the objects that they're drawing and the things they are drawing from in the, this, this type of way. They look from side to side and from top to bottom, horizontally and vertically. This gives them reference points on where the different shapes might go when they are doing the drawing and they mark these shapes out. If you draw a square around on a cube or a, a, a square around the car that you are trying to draw and then divide it into two like this, it makes it much more simple because you can use the sides of the cube to mark out where these different areas are. And I'll bring the line down, you can see that things are lining up along the line where the window lines up and other objects in the drawing. There you can see that the back part of the vehicle is slightly sloping down and it's lower than the line there. All this helps you because it gives you a good way of identifying things more accurately see there you can see where the rear of the car finishes you can see where the lower end of the rear wing finishes and you can come the other way as well so if you look here take another line that spot there shows where the windscreen ends there it lines up with part of the wheel here it looks about just a little bit more than half the distance of the wheel arch on the wing. There, or rather, there, oh, it's just jumping. You can see where the wing lines up with the bottom there and the top there. You can also see that the inside windscreen or the, the rear screen on the back of the cab of this vehicle lines up there. You bring the line across like that and put it there. Then you can see that where the back part of the vehicle 
is joined onto the cab there. It also meets with this line here at the bottom. And all this information helps it to become easier to draw a car. Now in this image, I'm going to tell you and explain some of the fundamental basics about lighting and shading your drawing. Most things, when a light is shined on them or shone onto them, they are lighter in that area than they are in other areas where there is no light. If you think about life in general and walking about outside, all light comes from the sky above our heads and comes down. That's not all light because there is reflected light that comes from all other directions as well. But the general and basic principle is that most light comes from above and shines down. Even when you go into a house, the lights are usually in the ceiling and they shine down. So in a, a vehicle like this, a car, the top of the roof would be light, the top of the bonnet would be light, the top of the wings would be light, the top of the wheel arches would be right, everything that is at the top would be light and everything at the bottom would be darker. In this next image you'll see that I've darkened around the wheels and the bottom of the car and, also, and already this makes the car seem to be like sort of heavier and more seated on a surface. That is because, like I've just said, all light comes, or most light comes from the top down, so that that is the common way we see objects in our daily lives, and we identify and recognize that more easily. So when you darken the underneath of things in this way, you make them more recognizable to the individual looking at it, because they can actually identify it with what they see in real life. So that makes it easier for the drawing to be understood by everybody and then it also makes the vehicle or the object that you're drawing seem like it is actually sitting down on something this seems like the lower edge down here so it seems like it's sitting on some sort of surface so everywhere where there wouldn't be any light would be darker than everywhere else so inside the wheel arches here would be very black the tires would be very dark the inside of the grill would be very dark inside the cab would be dark like they are in the drawing this helps the drawing seem to become more realistic again and helps the drawing become more believable now you can see that I've done some shading onto this drawing and you can see that I've left the tops of the wheel arches lighter, the top of the rear end lighter there, a lighter area that's across the top of the door, or towards the top of the door, lighter across the top of the roof, and the bonnet. This again helps to convince the person looking at this drawing that this is a, an object that is being lit from above and darker underneath and sitting on some kind of surface as in this image. It helps a great deal to, to, to do drawings in this way. When you think about it, almost everything is lit from the top. So in the beginning, it's best to learn how to draw your shading and how to do shadows in that way. To just think that light above and dark below. So if you draw anything and make it darker below and lighter above, it will look convincing to most people if not everybody. In this next drawing, you can see that I've put these highlights into it here and on the wings here, and maybe done some darker shading around. It helps the drawing become more convincing. It looks much more three-dimensional when these highlights have been added. I think that these areas have been darkened slightly as well, and down by here and maybe underneath here some darkness been put onto the tires there to make them more convincing and underneath of the bumper bar there so you take the highlight in away and it looks flat or not as not as three-dimensional put the highlight in it and it makes it seem more three-dimensional and more realistic <laughs>
call him crazy. 